and welcome to Product Power Tips. I'm Sherry Reland, Director of Product Development at Creative Memories, and today we are going to talk about the custom cutting system, otherwise fondly known by me as CCS, so I don't have to say it all every time I want to talk about it. Um, so what we're going to walk through are all the reasons why we love it, the usability of it, the exclusivity of it, and um, some of the testing that we do. And ultimately this one is always really great because it's patented by Creative Memory so you know that we are the only ones around um, that have the great patterns. Um, so let's dive into it a little bit and I'll walk you through um, what it can do, why should you use it, why should you buy it, um, or pull it out of the closet if you haven't used it in a while. So let's talk about, we have circles which are always universal, easy to use, kind of my go-to for most of the time. And then we have ovals. So these come as four different um, shapes that you get. And then we also have the rectangles. Um, and so with each one of these sets, what you have too are the red, green, and blue blades. So we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about them right now. I'm gonna scoop these out of the way and let's pull a circle out. So you have red blades. Here's how they work. There's a kind of a safety feature. So the cap kind of flips over and locks into place. So when you flip it over, what you see is the V blade on here. Um, why it's a V blade is it'll let you go clockwise or counterclockwise, depending upon what feels most comfortable. And then the one feature that what you might not realize is this actually rotates inside of here. So this material and this outer material are actually two different types of material that allow it to spin on each other. And so what does that mean? That means, and I'm going to try to hold this, when I lock the two knobs in here, what I should just be able to do is slide it. My wrist doesn't move um, around. I'm not having to stop and jerk and stop and jerk. Because of that rotating feature, it just glides nice, nicely inside of um, the groove. So you have the red blade, which cuts 1 16th of an inch away from the inner circle or the outer circle, depending upon which way you have it. You have the green blade, which cuts 3 16 and you have the blue blade, which cuts 5 16 away. So basically what that means is I can use either one of them depending upon what size or if I want to cut a frame, I can actually use, let's say, these two together and you'll have a, you know, a gap in there until you'll have a nice frame um, that you can use. I can cut anything from photos to mats to cardstock and to printed paper. And the other thing that comes nicely with each one of these sets is a sizing template. And I'm going to show you how to use that right now. So let's take this cute little kid we've got here crawling on the sand. And this is the rectangle sizing template. So what this allows you to do is there's all the different shapes. So for instance, I have the square right now. And you can see how that fits right in there. The black line right here and right here is the edge of my te my template. So there you can see the red line, which you can guess goes with the um, red blade, the green with the green blade, and the blue line with the blue blade. So I can determine, that's what this sizing template helps me do, to do is determine if I want to crop really close, then I would be using the green blade. If I want to crop, or sorry, the blue blade, if I want to crop a little bit further away, the green or the red. And so in this instance, I think I'm going to use my red blade. So let's put the sizing template out. And so we'll put the pegs in and we'll just cut around. And again, you see, I can just kind of smoothly go. And there you go. Voila, we've cut down um, the little picture. And so we just focus in on the little toddler crawling on the sand. What I want to talk to you about too is, so these patterns, obviously generic, and we'll keep coming out with more patterns um, as we see fit. So um, look for that in the future. What I'd like to also talk to you about are the grips underneath here. So that's one of the other features is that you'll see on the underside of each of these, there's little feet. 
Um, what that allows you to do is it's non-skid. So if you can see, I'm pushing at the moment um, and it, it won't go on this cutting mat. Um, so that helps keep everything in place as well while you're cutting. Um, and we hope to see things that you've made with it on Facebook and in social. Thanks again.